So we didn't have to do the fight this time, because we just used different dialogue. Although that was a good fight, because we killed these people easily and got some good experience. So when he says when he said Lone Wolf, he didn't he didn't mean like he was giving himself a cheesy nickname. He's actually a part of some gang, the Lone Wolves. He shrugs, looking mercenaries. It's a job, my job. Maybe. <laughs> Pretty comfortable, sun, sea, sand. It's a good life. The usual way, haphazard, terrifying, and two heads are better than one. And when push comes to shove. Four fists are better than two, right? Four, four fists? That sounds like a really brutal orgy. He grins. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Survival's my main priority. All right, so keep him as a I wayfarer. Every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer is not what you're after, I've got other skills. Yeah, we'll keep him as a wayfarer, right, Inky boy? I'll, I'll hold. Okay, finesse ranger. Gotcha. Sure. The Dexterous Arts? That makes sense. Archer. Finesse. Ranger. Dexterous Arts? Uh, what are you looking for exactly? A strike from a distance. Yes. Can do. Onwards. He scans the horizon for threats with one green eye, then <laughs> nods back at you. Does he only have one eye? Or did he scan the horizon with one eye while keeping one eye on right me? You are. Lead the way. All right, let's go to Elodie. Okay, I kind of want revenge on this jerk ass. So this is Fort Joy. Fort Joy. What a crumbling disaster. The delivery. Surely you have one. Please. Oh. Break, they said. Right. Then dead. Who are they? Them that pay the bill. Time's up, your honest. All right. <laughs> it, it's stabbing time. Oh wait, I don't have louse. It out all dilly eye day. Oh, shoot. He say he likes it big and strong. And combs it out all dilly eye day. Who's this guy? And tweaks the nubs. He strokes and pokes like all the blokes. Great. I'm trying to have a battle over here. I don't need to hear all your shit. All day long. Alrighty, fun. Okay, so we'll go into the water so this guy can't set us on fire. Yeah. And what can we do to this guy? A ricochet. A normal arrow that deals 5 to 8 physical damage. Finds another target within 5 meters. Okay, we don't need to do that. Peace of mind. We could encourage everybody. Oh, that's not going to affect the other person. Should have done that earlier. Fire arrow. I guess we could just do like a regular attack. Like all the blokes, he say he'll touch you all day long. Oh, I really don't. I really. That's annoying that I have to listen to this guy. I feel like I'm playing cyberpunk and there's some TV on. All right, Red Prince. Attack him. He say he likes it big and strong. I don't think we can take this guy on as it is. No attack for opportunity. Darn. There you go. Burning blaze all you want. Why is the lizard still on fire? Okay, this guy's got that. So can we encourage at this point? Yeah. Hey, everybody feels good. Boom, six points down. Oh, one more, because we're standing still. Yeah. Good. All right, no armor. What can we do here? Sets knocked down. There you go. Now you're knocked down in the water. And he drowns to death. Uh oh, we just involved this guy, perhaps. <laughs> oh, that's Beast. Oh, crap. I wonder if Beast is that... Oh, shit. Is Beast going to uh, hate us now? But that did stop him to... Uh, did stop him from saying that annoying poem over and over again. Crowd control, baby. Crowd control. I 
Alright, Adelia. Can you backstab? Can you backstab people that are on the ground? Probably not, eh? But you can walk over and attack them. Yeah, beatniks with the silly poems. But he's also like a childish juvenile beatnik talking about masturbating. Nobody wants to hear about that. It's a private thing. Is Beast going to join the battle now? That'd be really annoying. Oh my god. Is Beast now against us? That was terrible. Oh no. Beast is going to be really powerful, isn't he? This might have been the worst possible thing. We might have to reload this save. Okay, what can we do against... What kind of status can we do? Nothing. We can set burning. Knock down. Yeah, let's do that. <gasps> Boom, knock down, drown. Knock down and drown. Can we reason with beast? Oh, this is terrible. This is super terrible. No, we need to get rid of this guy now. Chop him! Womp womp indeed. Oh, can you not stack knockdown? Or maybe I missed with the knockdown? This game is much tougher than the first one unless you exploit it. Interesting. Yeah. Feels hard, which is nice. It feels like, which makes it so much more satisfying because you know that there. Ah. Uh, because you know everything you do is so earned. Oh, I'm blinded by the light. Bouncing shield. What's my exploit? What do you mean? I'm ready. Yes, did I also fortify Naren? What the fuck? That was stupid. What's wrong with me? Unless you exploit it? Oh. I don't, I don't know if Unlitch was talking about a specific exploit. Probably more like just constantly trying to exploit it. Or maybe so. Not in. Alright, let's try this good old bouncing shield. Hey la 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 la! There you go. Eat that. Ooh. Boom! Double knockdown. You don't seem to be doing that well. Flee by using the flea scale. Uh, I understand. I think I'm doing just fine. This guy's gonna die soon. And everything will be as it should. There you go. Guy's gonna die soon. We're doing great. I'm gonna drink this potion. Oh yeah, I mean, that's what the great thing with the battles is that it's all about your setups. You know, like standing in the water really helped us. If you just take the time to approach a battle and put people in the right spot and, and dominate sort of the... Uh, yeah, it's like positioning and controlling the elements and stuff. Yeah, finish this guy off. Damned nuisance these assassins are. It's their frightful manners I mind the most, really. Yeah, it's all about the armors. So you have to think. You need to, like, uh, focus all on magic armor, physical armor, and a lot of characters end up having really strong one or the other. Um, let's, let's get out of here. Let's flee. Flu. Flea failed. Too close. Let's run. 
Let's outrun his tiny little dwarf legs. <laughs> Run away! Uh oh. He's coming after us. He's so, he's so slow. You and Lily played the other day and this one battle's kicking her ass. Tried three different strategies. Yeah, they're in a way they're sort of like puzzles, right? But it's not like there's just one one method that can uh, that can do it. Okay, so I guess Beast can no longer be in our party. We screwed that up. Uh oh, the battle's still going. Go, go, go. The load, yeah. You think you advise a load? Yeah, it was just an accident. We'll take this as a, as a great learning lesson. Be sure to run after they steal, or they'll search and... search and destroy. Okay. Alright, let's go murder this guy then. Okay, where was Niren? Oh, this is the cave. And I'm trying to remember where Niren was. Round three, baby! Well, he was kind of near the water near Beast. Sabeel! Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was among the sorcerers with whom you fought the Voidwoken down in the hold of the sinking ship. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? There is no other elf like me. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice a flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Let me tell you a little Once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar into my cheek. The mark of a slave. But now I'm free. Of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here. To Fort Joy. I intend to raise the subject with him. No! She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Join me. A bright sparkle of laughter follows. Ha! <laughs> How amusing. Make your case and do it quickly. 
Why should I join you? I will. And so you seek to escape? <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. I like that idea that people would have given up escaping. It does seem impossible. They make examples of people. The gangs have already risen up. They've settled into a life of it being impossible to escape. It makes it seem more interesting that they could possibly escape. And it is like quite a big part of the game, the first part, to find an escape. And I love how there's so many different ways you can do it. We well saved her from certain oh, death. little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. Felix hears the narrator speak and chuckles to himself, finding it quite funny indeed. Wondering if he'll ever get a PS5, or maybe they'll just forget about Indonesia altogether. I'm thinking, yeah, custom losa y fansabil. Although I'm not super hot on Ifan's story, I'm talking, but I like him as the archer. Yeah, that's how, how I'll probably go. I wouldn't have mind trying Thane though, just for seeing the undead thing. Just such an interesting aspect to it. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that. Sure, yeah, let's go kill him. Casual flick of the wrist. Let's discuss our... You, me, and death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek. As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal... Okay, so we keep her as a... As a rogue, not muscle. So, or finesse. Is yours. Should we go finesse or rogue? Yeah, I'm up for her being a backstabber. Stabby people. Dexterous. Attacks of opportunity. Keep as a rogue. Fantastic. Suits me fine. Lead on, then follow me. But wait. You seem to have quite a few. Alright. You. It's been really great knowing you, but, uh. Your time has come to leave. Multi select. Alright. Take everything useful from this guy. And bid adieu. As you're about to approach the lizard, Sibyl cups your chin between thumb and index finger, then guides your eyes to hers. Sexy. Listen, I need to have a chat with this here morsel of flesh. He has wronged me once, but may just do right by me this time. To your surprise, Sabeel proceeds to throttle the unsuspecting lizard with one hand as she drives the tip of her needle into his lower belly with the other. Then, the questions commence. You hear him yelp about the master, lone wolves, and a man called Griff. Then, quite suddenly, there's blood everywhere as Stingtail falls to the ground, face first into his own intestines. Sabeel heaves a sigh of satisfaction, and as she wipes her needle clean, Shoots you a cut. Shots over. So that seemed just a tad excessive. What you witnessed was an exercise in restraint. And jolly good fun to boot. An unusually large orange. Children's gloves. Disarming kit. Salmon pie. Some gold. Oh, Searing Dagger skill book. Peace of mind skill book. Whole bunch of skill books. Haste. All right, who can we give uh, haste to? Okay, so now this is a crime scene, but we don't have anybody... We don't have anybody that can use those fire spells. So they've increased it to 120... Well, they wanted to do $120 a year. How much was it before? I mean, I think PS, PS Plus is about like less than $10 a month. You get to play online, blah, blah, blah. Play online. They try to give you a whole bunch of community stuff that I find is just bloated. Like, let me play online, let me talk to people, let me join the games, let me watch the games, that kind of stuff. I like, I don't care about, like, the social media that posts and all this crap. Like, stop trying to be Facebook. But I wouldn't want to pay more than $10 a month for it. We're murderous. 
What's this? I Here's found some cave. He found something, did he? Okay, I want to go find that guy. And get a revenge. The thing with um, getting people to pay to play online is that uh, I'm fit for beasts. Your people, like, there's a lot of people that only play video games to play online, so they're going to. It might make them want to switch to playing on PC, but a lot of people are just so used to controllers that if you're really into playing shooters and stuff, you're not going to switch over from a controller to a mouse and keyboard. It's just too difficult. Alright, where's Naren? I thought Naren was around here before. Because you just get decimated, right? Oh, here he is. Naren's down there. There he is. Okay, Naren, you're dead now, buddy. So, I feel like I'm kind of cheating because... Um, I know this is coming, right? So we can split up. Keep him up here. For some uh, archery. Yeah. Okay, keep him up here. And then we could have... Laos. Run around. Over. Oh, this guy won't come after us because we don't have. What's his name? Ah, uh, the Red Prince. So they wanted to go from $60 a year to $120 a year? That's ridiculous. Maybe have Laos also, also up here. And our character will go on. Yeah, he doesn't care. I'm waiting for someone, and it ain't you. Sod off. And it ain't you. Oh, it ain't you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's definitely sort of game breaking in that sense. The whole the whole point of this battle that was made it interesting was that he came up. We didn't know there was going to be a fight. He started a fight, and was able because we we're all grouped together. He could throw the dust, and he could be a he could be a really effective, really powerful. I'm gonna steal from you. Ah, invisibility potion. That's pretty useful. Life essence. Oh, or poisoned arrowhead. I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gouging if they were trying to increase it. By two times. Come on, I've been roped. Nice. So they actually react to it. To death and get purged, don't you think? You should be happy for you to what? Did you Some crow has taken up my belongings. I must search you. Uh, Sabiel didn't steal, did she? Oh yeah, she totally did. I'm not in a talking mood, sucker. Yeah, we're gonna fight anyway. Burning blaze. Are we all? We're not all in this fight, are we? It's not his turn. Okay, we're all in the fight now. Okay, good. You're on fire. What's the order you do for flesh sacrifice and adrenaline? But lose two action points the next turn. Okay, we won't worry about that now. Jump over the enemy, land behind the back, and backstab them. 100% chance to backstab. That's cool. Can backstab. Oh, yeah, we'll do that one. Ah, he's right out of the range. What a smart character. Alright, let's just walk up to him and attack him. Damn. Missed. Hey. Almost dead. This guy did a number on us. Either or is fine. Oh yeah, but I guess for adrenaline, I'll wait until you really need that moment. We're pretty far off from this guy. How far can we get with 2 AP? There we go. Hey! Adelia! 
Flesh sacrifice gains one MP, but adrenaline is two. But adrenaline you lose two the next time, right? Sneaking failed. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. What can we hit him with? So when you're looking through your things, how do you know which ones can actually hit them? Oh. Can we not hit our friend? That won't knock him down though yet, will it? Because he's got... 20. Okay. That's a knockdown, that's a knockdown. We could just throw the shield at him. Boom. Eat that, jerk face. Get a little closer for next time. Louse! Battle sound won't hit friends. That's good. Flash sacrifice gives you constitution debuff, but it's rarely a problem. Yeah, because it's mostly about shields, right? Can we make it rain on our... On our dear friend, Sabil. 10 meter range. Ah! That'd be nice. Battle Stump will do some damage to make sure it exceeds their current physical shield. Gotcha. Okay. Guess we could get a little closer. For encouraging and, and the such. Alright, Naren, what are you gonna do? Run through the water? Oh! It's quite the scream. Huh? Getting a whole other attack is really nice. Okay, let's try to get him with uh, a Bakalasha. And then one of these ones, Adrenaline. You found on the higher ground is doing more damage? Good. Naren, backstab. Good. Oh, nice. Adelia. She doesn't have a backstab and I uh, chuck around. Should I? I should try to get her those other ones, like. I guess this is good. See, my, the last time I had Beast and Sibyl with basically identical skills. So they were both trying to, like, um, flip over people all the time. Which kind of got them into trouble, because what I realized was, uh, that was, an, that was a mistake to pick the Adelia name. That was, I think, a, the game generated the name. The problem was I had Beast and Sibyl doing the same stuff, and they couldn't... There just wasn't enough room to, um, backstab two people at the same time. It's better to have uh, somebody a little stronger in this way. There we go. Butt stomp. Knockdown, sucker. Can you stack knockdown? And then they can never get up? Or is that not how that works? Like, we can still, I can still do a back step because I have a dagger, but all that, um, the scoundrel stuff didn't seem to work. Although I would like the adrenaline piece. Would be nice. I mean, who wouldn't want adrenaline? So this one is a magical missile that deals 7 to 10 air damage. I feel like last time when I did this magic missile, it hurt my friends. Okay, they have a blue around them. So the blue means what? They're standing in the blood? So whatever happens to the blood, it's going to happen to them? Sixth playthrough, you're doing all physical fighter. Two backstabbers, archer. And you can't stack knockdown. Yeah, see, this is the thing where I don't know. I guess I'll just... I just want to do a regular, regular old attack. There you go. Nine damage. That's fine. And he's knocked down. The Magus weapon electricity based? Maybe that's what it was. Can we knock him down? There you go. Knock down. 
I wonder if we would have done more damage if we knocked him down first. I don't think it matters at this point. There we go. We did much, 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 much better. And we can loot his body for all these great things. Lots of gold, actually. This guy must be a really successful, uh... Another giant speaks, Quirkus. I like how they really capture the animal's personality in these. No, never! I will pay it no notice. One of its troop has an air of nobility about it, but this one... Yes. Hmm. Who does he like? Sibyl? Watch this. It certainly... I disagree, Quirkus. It does not need to know about the coming of the great acorn spelling doom for us all. Similarly, what happened? No, it Let's is see. enough for the creature to know that we are allowing it to accompany us so that it may act as our shield against the monsters. The great acorn has many... Dear me! It has questions! Hmm? Why, yes, I suppose... Uh, speak! Shield! What are your queries? A giant body, but no giant brain. Surely even the tall folk know that Rivalon was bare before the great acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful, beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. They carved the Irwood up, but someday the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn. <laughs> At least that's what I hear. The races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. The the voice actors really nail those little side jokes at the end of the sentences without making them seem cringy. The Great Acorn. Will we find out what happens to the Great Acorn? <laughs>